In this episode, I'll give you four reasons for bringing a tripod on your next trip. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. It's brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for the traveling photographer, the professional photographer, the amateur, even audio engineers. Check them out at adorama.com. Well, I'm coming to you from beautiful Recife, Brazil. I've been traveling around the world for about seven months now, and when I first started on my trip, I had to decide if I was going to be in a tripod or a flash or both and I decided based on weight and space and all of those restrictions that I couldn't bring a flash but I did want to bring a tripod for some very good reasons and I want to talk to you about those reasons today in this episode but before I do that I want to remind you that Adorama has some photography contests you can enter it's absolutely free and you can win some great prizes so click the link and enter today all right, before I get into my four reasons for bringing a tripod for your travels, let me just add this little disclaimer. If you can bring a flash and a tripod, you should, absolutely. If you have space and the weight is okay for you, bring your flash. I didn't have that uh, availability, those options. I had to really cut down on my weight, so I had to choose between one or the other, and the tripod won out for these four reasons. Now, the first reason has to do with low light. A tripod allows you to shoot things in really low light where a flash just can't help you out. For example, I was shooting uh, Keto at night. That meant a really long exposure. Now, a little flash on my camera isn't going to light up an entire city, and so my uh, tripod allowed me to shoot really long exposures with low ISO to reduce the noise while keeping my camera from moving around, and so I was able to create some really nice low-light photographs where a flash just wouldn't work. Now, on travels, I want to capture those kind of things, cityscapes and scenic photography. A flash isn't going to help me, but a tripod is going to do the trick. The second reason I chose to bring a tripod was it allows me to do some really awesome things in scenic photography, specifically with water. It allows me to drag the shutter using a neutral density filter, and so I can go into the forests or the jungles and create that really glass-like effect on water. It's something that a flash just won't help you with. One of my most significant reasons for bringing a tripod is that most DSLRs today shoot video. And shooting video handheld looks really wobbly and it can make you sort of motion sick because it's really not still. You need a tripod. And you can see these boats behind me. I shot two videos, one handheld. And you can see it's sort of all over the place. Even though I'm holding that camera as still as I possibly can, but being handheld just isn't a match for having a tripod on your camera. That is going to really significantly increase the quality of your videos if you're shooting videos with your DSLR. Now the last reason, reason number four, is HDR photography. Now I've said in the past I'm not a big HDR fan, but in my travels I've discovered that I'm really becoming a fan of HDR photography. For example, this is an image of the Basilica of the National Vow. It's one of my favorite pictures from this trip. That would have been totally impossible had I not had a tripod. And when I was in Mindo, a friend asked me to shoot some pictures of his hotel. Again, HDR photography came into play. Totally impossible without my tripod. And I just keep finding these situations over and over again where I want to shoot at low light, I want to shoot some video, I want to shoot some HDR photography, I want to get some really cool scenic stuff. All of that stuff requires a tripod. Even shooting the stars. I was out one night and said, wow, these stars are amazing. And I got this shot of the stars. It would have been totally impossible without a tripod and more notably, none of those would have been possible with a flash. And so for me, my options for travel photography are much greater with a tripod than they are with a flash, and that's why I chose that one over the flash. Again, if you can bring a flash, bring it, but if you have to choose, I think the winner is clearly the tripod. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget, you can visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll see all those past episodes where I created those images, as well as a bunch of tutorials from some awesome photographers like Joe McNally and Gavin Hoey and Brian Peterson and Tamara Lackey. It's all free and you can subscribe by clicking the link right here on YouTube. It's totally free to subscribe and that way you don't miss a single episode. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.